first half was, was a big part of that. They never stopped. They, they, they just you know, posted us, offensive rebounded us. Uh, just they, they played with a physicality at the rim that we, we couldn't answer. We, we didn't have the discipline to defend without fouling. Um, and uh, give them credit. Give them, my guys tried. My guys tried. It's not like they just went out there and fell down. They tried and just, uh, just couldn't do it. Obviously, you, you recruited PJ. Um, he didn't. You, you didn't face him last year because the game at Kansas. What, how, how much have you seen him grow as a player since you recruited him? Oh, PJ's a tremendous player. So, great young man, unbelievable family. Uh, uh, he, he's uh, he knows how to play. I mean, you know, his high school coach was, is phenomenal. Uh, Thomas Ryan, you know, the program at Dorman, they did a great job in preparing him for college. And then Brad um, uh, runs great structure. To utilize PJ's because PJ's a multi-talented kid. He's not just a low post guy. So they move him around. Uh, they, they so you got to have the discipline to, to be able to defend him. And the second that you relax, then he just attacks you and posts you. And and unfortunately, we just we, we couldn't match the level of basketball that he's playing at right now. And then Hunter Tyson, don't don't take him away. I mean, he absolutely dominated the paint uh, with his offensive rebound. Was Kuznar bothered by the? Ankle. Yeah, he, he he he's not ready to play. I, you know, he tried to gut it out. He's on one leg. I mean, um, he tried to be a good teammate because of just the moment that we're in right now. But he's 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 not. You know, I I I wish I could hit rewind and and have told him not to play tonight. I know you don't make excuses. You play with what you got. The you know, next man up. You mentioned, but as a coach. We're frustrating not to be able to go into a game like this with all hands on deck for you. It, it's not, it, it, you know, those days happen, Phil, when you coach. You know, guys get hurt, guys, whatever. The, the, the problem is that we've been playing well, and, and uh, uh, you know, you, 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 day off is Wednesday, and then from Wednesday to Thursday, you start getting bad news. And it just deflates, deflates your team, it deflates your spirit, deflate, you know, it's, uh, um, and we just, uh, but with all that said, we, you know, we started the game pretty good and then we, we, we got frustrated and, but that we got frustrated not because of us, because of Clemson, their, their physicality, their, they made the game really hard for us and, and we, we did, uh, when we stopped scoring, we stopped trying to execute on offense, and then we started pressing and taking some bad shots, and uh, and then defensively, we just, like I said earlier, you know, PJ and Hunter Tyson just controlled the game. Going to be have a last question for Frank. Uh, kind of like I mentioned, Chico. How would you say he kind of really stepped up tonight? Yeah, Chico can score. Chico can score. Chico's uh, uh, has a has a really good understanding on how to put the ball in the basket. You know, he. Uh, um, he continues to try to understand our defensive system, um, and uh, um, which it's simple, but it's 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 really simple, and it's the X and O part, but it's it requires unbelievable amount of discipline, um, and that's that's his challenge right now is to continue to grow defensively. But Chico can score, and I give him credit. He lined up and he took advantage of the opportunity and. Uh, you know, especially in the second half, there he 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 created some baskets for us when we had no chance to score. And kind of when he started scoring, it gave us a chance to to kind of relax a little bit and go make some shots.